Hi, everybody. Hi, doctor. Oh, what the? You're not a doctor. No. These guys in the background very much remind me of Raving Rabbids. The Rayman Raving Rabbids. Because of the crooked teeth and the huge mouths. Uh, I played this game when it came out. When did this game come out? You can't see this, but it came out on Sept uh, on May 14th, 2009. And it is Amateur Surgeon by Adult Swim Games. It's basically a a parody of Trauma Center. I, th I think that's what it was called. The game for the Wii. I rented Trauma Center. I thought it was going to be the coolest game ever. It was fun. But I, I beat the entire game in a weekend on like that... I think it's called X Rank. When you unlock... When you beat all of them and then you get the X Rank missions. So I've never found it very difficult. This game, on the other hand, I've never beaten. Um, I don't remember if it was because it was hard or if I was just bored. Eat your pizza. Hey, Vinny, you eat your pizza yet? Look at this. He's studying. This guy is apparently drunk and smash him with a van. <laughs> Alan Probe. Pizza boy slash wannabe surgeon. Moron. Absolutely. Dr. Ignatius Bleed. Disgraced surgeon. Vagrant. Cough syrup addict. Boom. The FDA just recently decided not to move um, dextromethorphan-containing cough syrups behind the counter. The DEA wanted them to and uh, wanted them to make it a controlled substance, and the FDA said no. Oh my God! I've killed a dead hobo. I'm not dead. Oh, quickly! You have to cut me open. That seems like an entirely appropriate thing to do at this point. Uh, I've got a pizza cutter. Wow, my throat hurts. Ah, sweet, delicious diet, Dr. Pepper Cherry. Here we go. Take the pizza cutter. Oh, take the pizza cutter. Use it to cut me where I show you. Pizza cutter. And then you just click and drag on that line. Yay, I got good. Ah, oh, there's the problem. My rib cage is smashed. We can fix it. You can't see this. You don't even have a neck. Please, select the tongs, then grab a piece of bone and drop it in the correct place. All right, this is just sort of trickery. Yeah, there we go. You just find bones, and then you just kind of match it up somewhere. Uh, this goes down there, which hides this piece of bone, which goes right there, which goes right there. This one must go on this side? No. You certainly don't go there. There we go. Oh, man, I need to tilt my screen a little bit. I have uh, no contrast right now when I'm trying to look at this thing, so I'm going to tilt my screen right now. Thank you. That's much better. Now, we just need to close me up. Would you happen to have a needle and thread? No? Then your stapler will have to do. What pizza boy goes around with a stapler? Please fire staples neatly down the length of the cut to close it. That's not how staples work. Very nice. Oh, almost there. Yeah, see how much nicer he looks? I think his stubble has gone away. Well, now we're going to use the lighter, and we cauterize the wound. Shh. All right, then we use, what is this called? It says pain away, I think. Tell me what to do, doctor. Ah, my special pain away gel. He just happens to carry it with him. Who are you? My name is Ignatius Bleed. Can you teach me that? How to do surgery? Teach surgery? I, I couldn't. Not again. Why not? I've got a bunch more tools in the van, and if that pool table over there doesn't scream operation, I don't know what does. I can't do this guy's voice. I just don't quite grasp. Why does it turn into a... Oh, well, who cares? And who would want to be operated on by a washed-up old tramp and a pizza boy? Crash. That was my onomatopoeia. Yay, I got ten points. So now, I got an F on him. That's awesome. I could probably do better. And, conveniently, a robber falls through the roof. Uh, hello, Mr. Bur oh, wait, that's the wrong voice for this guy. Hello, Mr. Burglar. Fall through the window trying to rob our clinic? Clinic? 
Yep, you're in luck. Today's special is glass extraction. I've lost all sense of voice right now. Why are there are these cans of paint? Is that what these are? Oh man, this guy, you're in some bad straits there, Tommy. Use the tongs, pull out the glass. You have to pull it out at the right speed. If you pull too fast, then everything gets in trouble. So now we use a stapler. We staple this buddy up. Bonk, 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 bonk. Grab my lighter, cauterize the wounds. I don't like that sometimes the wound goes fast and sometimes the wound goes slow. Oh, it's just like playing Trauma Center, only not. I did like the Wii motion controls for Trauma Center. They were fun. Yay, I've got combos. Everybody loves combos. How come when I got very far off the wound, I got an awesome, but when I kind of followed the wound exactly, I got a not as awesome? Oh, wait, I didn't flame you. I thought I flamed you, or did you pop open when I wasn't looking? You naughty little thing. And now, I love the game. It's like, seal up all of his wounds, then cut him open. Awesome. All right, tongs, grab the glass. Ah, see, I pulled too fast. Heaven forbid I pull that glass nice and straight and quickly. And then something that would never work in real life, let's staple his lungs. That would not work. You would destroy the lungs putting a staple in it and then applying a lighter. This is all very much a bad idea. We do not want to do this in real life. I am not a doctor. I know nothing about surgery. I do, however, have an inkling of an idea that applying a lighter to somebody's lungs would be a bad idea. Is this a cut? Yes, apparently it is. And now we're going to throw a bunch of gel on the lungs, because we would love it if this patient got pneumonia. Well, actually, this patient's just probably going to die from respiratory failure based on the fact that I have stapled and flamed his lungs inside of his body. Also, he's not breathing. There's a problem right now. Our patient is not breathing. We definitely need to pay attention to this kind of problem. And we did all of that from such a small little incision. Oh, boy. We're going to lose our medical license. Oh, wow. Hey, do I, rec <laughs> do I recognize you too? Me? No, no, I'm sure you couldn't. <laughs> he says that, but look at the way his mouth is. He's more like, ah! There was a doctor got himself into a heap of trouble a few years back. Lots of unexplained deaths. Then he just disappeared. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Sir, was it true what he said? You're a doctor? I'm not that kind of doctor. No, I mean, I used to. Can you teach me how to cut? I mean, help people? I'll cut you, son. All right, Alan, but we may have to improvise with the tools a little. Yay! Patient Gracefuls. My's name's is Gracefuls. What do I look like, a guy who's not lazy? Cletus! This is the last one. Once Cletus is done, we're done. Hey, can you guys help out a friend? Whoa, that porcupine has a hillbilly stuck on its ass. I went to uh, pick up this here prickle peg, but done fell on it instead. And now the porcupine is gone. I have to... Wow. Eldrick Star's voice destroys my throat. Next. Okay, tongs. Aww, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Because we wouldn't want to hurt Cletus. Bonk, 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 bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Ah, that's not one of those cuts. I just done stapled myself a hillbilly. I like how none of these hurt. <laughs> I can staple these shut and it doesn't hurt him. I can apply a lighter that is hot enough to cauterize wounds and it doesn't hurt. But if I accidentally staple the wrong part of his skin, suddenly he screams out in pain. This game makes no sense from a medical perspective. Hello, finally, jeez. What is this? All right, let's cut him open. I don't know what this tool does. I am unaware of the 
purpose, the function of said tool. This would be his vena cava, and then these are his kidneys. All right. I think that's his vena cava. It would have to be. I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. Liberally apply flame to the kidneys. This is the smartest thing that could ever be done. There is no reason not to put flame on his kidneys. And I just noticed another cut in the background that I didn't see the first time. And that would be right here. I don't like the cuts in the background. They just don't... They're not obvious enough. All right, let's staple him shut. I loved how he had an entire porcupine stuck to him, but then I removed all of four quills. Because that's all it takes, just four. Am I going to cut him open again now? I am. I couldn't have accessed it from this first cut. Wow. That. Ow, I'm going to kill the patient. That. That. Staples. Staples, 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 and now some flame. Uh, this would be his liver. I can tell it's the liver because it's shaped like... What? What? How is that not appropriate? I'm flaming his wound. I don't get it. I've stapled the cut shut. We know that this is right. Alright, everything else is going fine. Is it sh Okay, so now it's shut. Apparently it wasn't shut entirely before with all those staples in it. Explain, game. Explain. I'm about to kill Cletus. Hey, Cletus, the slack jaw Yoko. Some folks will never eat a skunk, but then again, some folk go like Cletus, the slack jaw go. I love that song. Canyon arrow. Canyon arrow. Twelve yards long and two lanes wide. It's 65 tons of American pride. Canyon arrow. Canyon arrow. Uh, this is supposed to be his heart. His heart is, one, the wrong shape. And by the way, he's dead. Don't you die on me! Aw, oh, I, I killed a yokel. Patient lost too much blood. I'm surprised he spelled that all correctly. And who gave me scores on this obituary report? Probe and bleed backstreet surgery. Aw. This has been Amateur Surgeon by Adult Swim. I only played this because someone's girlfriend asked me to. I hope she enjoyed. Bye-bye.